If one only has access to one mezuzah, where should it be placed? Regarding a mezuzah, it's brought down in Torah, al meaning it says in plural, on all doors of your house, of your gates, you should be placing a mezuzah. It seems like in the past, at least in the Ashkenazi countries, they wouldn't have a mezuzah on every single door. Um, in fact, the Ramah brings down that the minig is that most people have only one mezuzah. However, says the Ramah, This is not the right thing to do. There's no backup for such a thing. So it seems from this Ramah that every single person who has a should have a mezuzah on every single door and not just have one. Like it seems to be that was the way people used to do it back in the time of the Ramah. However, sometimes you go to Amif Tzoyim, sometimes you meet people, and all he's willing to do or pay for is only one mezuzah, or at least a few mezuzahs, but not on all doors. And the big question is, what is the top priority? So let's start like this. The top priority is a room where people live. Live could be either where they eat or where they sleep not necessarily the main door is the top priority unless the main door leads to a place where you eat, where you live, or where you sleep. For sure, the bedroom comes before, as I said before, the main entrance. However, if it's between different places of storage or a driveway, so you'll for sure prefer a place that you live over the storage places and over a driveway, even though, as we said before, it's better to have, and the right thing to do is in every single door that you have around. The bedroom of children comes before the bedroom of the parents. That bedroom being that a uh, mezuzah comes for shmiro, comes for protection. So the bedroom is top priority, as we said before, and the bedroom of the children comes before the bedroom of the parents. Another thing is a mezuzah has to be presented in a room that has Dalid Amis al Dalid Amis. That it should be such a type of room that has about six feet over six feet. That type of room is a room. So any room that's small than that for sure is less of a priority. So let's put it all together. As we said before, the rooms that you should be having mezuzahs on are rooms that you live in. Either a place you live, you eat, or that you sleep. When it comes to sleeping, bedrooms of children come before the bedrooms of parents. Um, but a bedroom comes before the main door. The main door needs a mezuzah only if it leads to one of these living rooms uh, or sleeping rooms. And obviously the mezuzahs in the house come before the mezuzahs in a storage place or in a driveway and a garage. However, there is something very, very special that ever brings down about a mezuzah. That when you put a mezuzah on the main door, it presents, it shows to everybody that this is a Jewish home. We know there's a famous story from a shliach in France, Rabbi Gurevich, that he had somebody in his community that had a mezuzah on the main door. When things started getting a little bit hard with anti-Semitism, this individual was a little bit nervous and they removed the mezuzah. Instead of it being on the door outside, they put it in the inside of the door. And a few days passed and, Rabbi Gurevich, and this person, this Mikurev of Rabbi Gurevich got a, a knock on the door a little bit nervous and worried what happened, he opened the door, there was an old man standing there. And he asked this individual, why did you move the mezuzah? And this individual answered the old man. He said, why, why are you asking? Why are you so worried? Where the old man said, I am a Holocaust survivor. I came from Auschwitz. And when I left Auschwitz, I said to myself, I don't want anything to do anymore with Yiddishkeit, with Judaism. And I forgot about everything. I didn't marry Jewish. My children weren't Jewish. I didn't celebrate any Jewish Yom Tovim. And one day, a few weeks ago, the elevator in this building broke. And being the elevator broke, I had to walk up the steps. And when I walked up the steps, I saw on your door, I saw the mezuzah. And when I saw the mezuzah, all these memories came back of who I am, where I came from. I remember my whole family. And I made this into a tradition that every single day, instead of taking the elevator, I walk up the steps and I stand by the mezuzah and I get back all these memories and I rebind to where I came from in the past. 
And you should know, when I saw this mezuzah disappeared, for me, it was just like reliving again the destruction, the disconnection from my family, from my people, from Hashem and from Yiddishkeit. Please, please put back the mezuzah on this door because this mezuzah represents and shows me that there's a Yiddishkeit, that there's an Eibishter, and that this is Jewish people that still keep going by the Eibishter's ways. It's just a great example, one of millions, how much the mezuzah is such an important thing presenting to ourselves and to our surroundings that Hashem is protecting us inside the house and so much more also outside of the house where we put the mezuzah. Therefore, as we said, the best thing is to have a mezuzah on every single, on every single door. If not, then we have the priorities as we said before. Thank you.